ओके गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पी एंड डेल्टा इफेक्ट ऑन एनी स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो आई विल नॉट गोइंग इन टू द मैथमेटिकल डिटेल बट आई विल ट्राई टू कन्वे द कोर कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस पी डेल्टा इफेक्ट ऑन एनी स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो इफ यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट इन फ्यूचर यू कैन बी वेरीफिडेड ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट so uh, first we will try to understand let's say uh, this is a beam okay which is simply support or let's say this is a column and in that case the column is oriented like this and this is also pinned support okay and you know that in case of a axial load like this whether this is applied on this beam or in this column what will happen well definitely you know that each and every cross section there will be some stress axial stress okay and what is the magnitude of this stress well if the uh, load is let's say p and the beam or the column has uniform cross section let's say a okay in that case at any section your stress is simply p by a okay so based on this stress you will design your beam or this column for this particular axial load and you think well this is fine and it is safe is it true no it is not true this beam or column is not safe if you design this based on only this stress criteria why well now in the picture this p and delta effect come how well try to understand whenever this column is subjected to axial load p what will happen this will buckle like this agree so after buckling this is the shape of the column agree and initially this was the shape so initially the load was passed through this line but now it is not so here in this particular cross section now here is two load first one is this is the axial load this is being passed and if the distance from this center line to this new position is delta then there is a moment that is p times delta okay so in this cross section now you have two stress first one is p by a and second one is your stress due to moment that is my by i and here moment is simply p times delta so due to this delta your structure will fail if you had not considered this extra stress caused due to this p delta effect this is one case now there is also another case okay now let's say we have a let's say well cantilever column like this or beam okay now it have a it have an axial load like this p and uh, let's say we also have an x uh, lateral load okay v so this is subjected to an axial load p and a lateral load p so what will be the effect simply it will bend like this okay so this is the shape after bending okay now at the very top there is let's say total delta deflection and this is delta dashed and like this okay and here at the fixed point or at the fixed support the delta is zero okay so at the top most the displacement let's say this is x actually this is delta and here uh, this is not delta rather this is x this is zero okay and here x is equal to delta dash and now the load is acting here and here okay so first try to draw the stress diagram uh, due to your lateral load and axial load axial load this is simple 
this is constant this is remain constant let's say this is p by a diagram okay throughout the length let's say this is the total length okay and due to this v the bending moment diagram will be like this okay at the top it is zero and at the bottom this is v times l agree and it varies linearly okay so at the bottom of this column the maximum stress is simply p by a due to the axial force and your m y by i and where m is simply v times l okay so based on this you design now what do you think your design is safe no in this case also your design is not safe why let's try to understand here in this base okay or any particular cross section here the stress is p by a and let's say this is at a distance of uh, y so this is your p y okay and based on these two value you design your structure but due to this eccentricity or due to this lateral deflection here it will have some extra moment okay due to this axial load p and this act in the same direction along with the v so it will have some additional effect okay so this additional effect is ignored that is why your design is not safe at the base this additional effect is simply p times delta okay and let's say the direction of the axial force is upward and lateral force is rightward in this case what will happen well now the bending moment diagram will look something like this due to v this is simply like this okay but once it has deflected the p will have some counter moment due to this upward direction in that case you will have less bending moment at the base that is v times l minus p delta because in this case your force is acting upward okay so i think now it is clear to you why we should consider this p delta effect sometime it will help us to save material and sometime it will help us to make the design safe okay so always you should consider this p delta effect hope you like this video and also if it helps you please don't forget to share it